Hi, I'm Ewan Burrows, a first year advertising and marketing student at Leeds Beckett University. And welcome to my short and informative vlog on the principles and theories behind some key marketing myths. This vlog aims to be an informative tool in the arsenal of any marketer and marketing campaign, focusing on three key marketing myths. Strong brands are not invincible, everyone is your customer, and a big brand can always sustain a higher price. Firstly, a key aspect of marketing what companies get wrong is that they believe that everyone is your customer. Companies waste limited resources and budgets deploy marketing campaigns which aim to appeal to a wider demographic as possible with a product which is unlikely to be universal. Instead, utilise your market research in an efficient and appropriate manner, honing your marketing around a core group of customers, ultimately increasing your return of marketing investment. It is not usually enough to define your customer as anyone who wants to buy your product. Brassington and Petit, 2007. Businesses must utilise the five M's of marketing, money, materials, machines, markets and men in order to assess if their respective resources are being used correctly and to gain further insight into the market in which their products are in and the brand's position within that particular market. To give a contemporary example of a brand failing to do this would be Marks and Spencers, a high street icon whose clothing division and marketing strategy has seemed to be unable to find a niche within the market. A dangerous place to be is it can lead brands to having no defining qualities, appealing to no one rather than everyone. Year on year revenue for Marks and Spencers is down £120 million according to Statista and they have closed 22 stores. Secondly, Another marketing myth which is prevalent within the industry is the idea that strong brands are invincible. Brands, no matter how strong or dominant their position is within a market, must always continue to innovate and come up with new ideas in order to stay ahead of competitors. Brands must not solely rely on the history or prestige of the brand and brands must recognise and adapt to change within the macro environment, whether this is a technological, social, cultural or political change. Most crucially, companies must employ the part of five theories into their marketing strategy from the onset of a product's creation. For example, if Nokia would have employed the part of five theory successfully, there is a possibility that it could have foresaw the threat of new entrants within the market, such as the Apple iPhone in 2007. This arguably led to irreversible damage to the Nokia brand, as in 2007, the year of the iPhone's introduction, Nokia revenue was at 50 billion euros, whereas by 2018, this had halved to 22 billion euros. Statista 2019. Nokia failed to realise that users favoured Apple's sleek, simplistic design, which led with functionality over form. However, most importantly, and especially in 2019, it should be stressed that no brand, no matter how ubiquitous, is immune from public opinion and scrutiny and backlash. Last but not least, another marketing myth which is prevalent within the industry is the idea that a big brand can always sustain a higher price. When it comes down to pricing, a premium and household brand can benefit from discounting and reducing prices of some of their products in a similar way to a cheaper brand. When a consumer is deciding on a product, the brand's reputation and status only forms part of that purchasing decision, with the price point and value for money is the customer getting their money's worth being the most fundamental reasoning behind a marketing purchase. For instance, Apple released three new smartphones in the year 2018, the iPhone XR, the iPhone XS and the iPhone XS Max. The iPhone XR, the cheaper model at £749 in comparison to the XS's entry point of £999 and the XS Max's price point of £1199, was much more successful as it accounted for, by June 2019, for 48% of total Apple iPhone sales within the US. It also highlights the important idea that the brand and customer loyalty only go so far and that even all conquering brands such as Apple are at risk of outpricing even their most loyal and dedicated customers. In conclusion, marketing myths are something which continue to be deployed by businesses both large and small. Brands must always utilise the appropriate marketing tools and apparatus such as the five M's of marketing and the Potter's Five Theory 
is this allows companies to be able to truly understand the market they are in and their own position within it and reflect on the brand and increasing the self-awareness of a brand. These key marketing myths must be avoided by brands if they are able to stay relevant, cost-effective and most importantly, profitable.